what I do. Put some dirt on it. Hello everyone, I'm Garber, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the DMRs and how I feel about them. And I feel like that they need to be the next weapons to nerf. So I've been running the D3DI a lot recently, right along with the Devotion. I haven't tried the MXR, but right now I've just been running the D3DI and the Devotion. And I'm telling you right now that I feel like the DMRs need starting to get some adjustments. The D3DI's hip fire accuracy is a little too on point right now where you can just hip fire people in really close range engagements and then of course aiming down south with long range of course that's what dmrs are supposed to do but now i feel like you can pretty much stay in a really good distant fight away from smg players and pro pretty much a good bit of ar players as well and just wreak havoc on the d with the dmr like you can almost pinpoint people down like it's really hard when you get on the long range and if you're running controller i don't really get aim assist that much on like really long range shots pretty much but when you're like mid mid long i wouldn't say long long but like mid long to short ranges this gun is accurate to the point that it's kind of like I'm not saying it's broken, but like it does make it feel like you're unstoppable at times where you can't even like people can't even stop you. Um, there are times that you do get bodied, you know, if you run into those really good, accurate players and people that know how to hit their shots prior, like on engagements and stuff like that. But people that are new to the game or are really unknown to like when to push in or like timid to when to push in, yeah, pre and engagements like that, there are a lot of times that you might prevail with the D3DI. Again, if you're going against like some really seasoned rogues, you might have to like play a little bit more um, passive with it instead of being, you know. <clears throat> I would say ego challenge your shots on corners and stuff like that. If you take shots, like sometimes it's just best to wait it out. But overall, I feel like the D3DI is just wreaking havoc in the game right now. So I feel like it needs a nerve. I feel like the DMRs themselves might need some adjustment adjustments overall. Um, I've, there's been a lot of times I've been getting ran over by the MXR and that is even like a more of a skilled weapon to use I feel like I feel like that requires more hit downs to actually down people compared to the D3DI or the Devotion and again I've been seeing some people with some really accurate shots with them and they're not missing their shots so it again it just makes me feel like that needs to be the next hit on weapon adjustments so that way it maybe get more balanced i'm not saying that the guns are broke but i do feel like that the guns are really really strong right now and there are times that people you know they think you're cheating because you're so accurate like in this video right here today we got somebody that thought i was cheating in this video so i mean i wasn't obviously you can tell i'm missing so many shots but you know, it's just the, the fact that, like, you're using these types of weapons like DMRs and sniper rifles, and, like, if you're consecutively just hitting shots and you're not missing any shots, it's going to make players that you're playing up against think you're cheating. So that's my opinion on it. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below what do y'all think about the DMRs, um, the D3DI, the Devotion. What Do y'all have y'all's personal opinions about these uh, DMRs? Do you think the DMRs are broken? Do you feel like the DMRs are too easy to use because of aim assist? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. If y'all haven't liked or subscribed to the channel, I appreciate if y'all do one of those things. I'm always trying to upload content every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and the like, subscribe motivates me to make more content. I've also been doing live streams on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, I do it at 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central time and then on tuesday i do it at 9 p.m to 12 a.m central time so if y'all want to come down and check out some rogue company games or other games that i play i also play like some apex i've been playing some overwatch 2 a lot recently i might stream that some i don't really know but i'm always streaming something of the sort on tuesday so if y'all want to come down the streams and check them out check out the gameplay check out my rage check out my horrible aim please be sure to come down and watch the videos and streams all right, without further ado, I'm going to cut to the video. I hope to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, and y'all have a fantastic day, everyone.
A few moments later. At this moment, he knew he messed up. 